the multidisciplinary pain uh, team is a team consisting of different specialities because with patients with chronic pain problems, there is not the one and single specialist that knows all. We need all our skills from different professions to put them together to treat these patients adequately. And that means there are core specialities that have to be included in this team, which is the general practitioner, which should be the anesthesiologist, the orthopedist, should be a psychologically trained person, so a psychologist or a psychiatrist, and depending on what problems we are facing, we need additional skills like rheumatologists or dentists even could play a role. Um, so uh, the team is multidisciplinary and it's open and it should be able to discuss the problems facing with one patient uh, from all aspects. Uh, the general practitioner plays a very special role in this team because he's the one who usually knows the patient best. He knows the surrounding, the family, the history, the psychological aspects of this uh, patient's history. And with that, certainly it's important to have him included. He also is the one or she's the one who has the long-term treatment options. He's the one who's always the referral pay, uh, per person. Uh, and the patient relies on this um, physician more than on any other physicians they see. And the general practitioner is also the one who um, uh, refers to other specialities. He has the long-term uh, knowledge, the long-term treatment, and should be the one who is always the person responsible for patients with chronic pain. Uh, depending on what problems we face, certainly we need additional skills. For example, back pain could very well be related to problems in the orofascial system. That means losing teeth could create back pain. So with these problems, we certainly need a dentist, and not just only uh, the orthopedist or the neurologist. And certainly psychological problems are a huge issue in chronic pain. So in a multidisciplinary pain unit, uh, always um, the psychologist should be included. In this team, there should be at least one person, and usually this could be the general practitioner, could also be the pain specialist, are the ones that are uh, somewhat the steering person. They really uh, coordinate, and this multidisciplinary team should meet on a regular base. There should be fixed dates. They should be open uh, to other physicians that want to present patients, want to discuss patients, and uh, also other colleagues should be able to attend to improve their knowledge of the management of chronic pain and see at the, what different aspects or different specialities take into account when treating chronic pain patients. Essential is that we not just only discuss about paper and records, but we also have to see the patients in these multidisciplinary teams. They have to be present, they are, should answer questions, because all of us here with their special ears with our experience, and from the same answer, we have different impressions depending on what is our own experience. So we need the patient be being present, and we also need to examine the patient. Different specialities have to examine, demonstrate their findings, and then we have to evaluate what's, res what's really relevant, what's not so relevant, what's important, and this results very often in a good treatment option.